This movie was just as bad as the first one, if not worse. This movie throws elements from the third, first, and sixth book all together when they already did a first movie. The first movie, first book anyway, has a prophecy and part of the prophecy, I, I don't remember it fully, obviously, because I haven't read the books in a long time. But part of the prophecy is that a friend will betray Percy. Which turns out to be Luke. Well, it's not even mentioned in the first movie, so there's no prophecy until this one. And Kronos is brought back in, like, the very last book in the series. I think there's, like, one or two more. But they aren't actually, you know... Like, full-on books, they're just, like, Percy narrating about the gods and stuff he's learned about. I actually have that book somewhere. Anyway, um... Yeah, they bring back Kronos, even though he got brought back in the end of the series. Like, near the end, he was a big deal. He gets brought back in this and taken out in, within three minutes. He was able to beat Kronos, but he couldn't beat the... Cyclops in this movie and he couldn't beat that thing with the tail they end up killing it only after Aunt Beth almost dies and she would have died if they didn't have the fleece which if this was the sixth book and she got stabbed by that thing they would not have the fleece because it would have been at the camp already That is literally the only reason she survived. Was because of the fleece. And Annabeth does not get any more interesting in this movie. And funnily enough, Grover is barely in this movie. But he's on the cover. I guess they didn't want to, you know, use too much special effects or CGI on his horns because they threw a hat on on the poster even though I don't even think he wears that hat in this movie besides when he goes in the store at one point to order some stuff they also finally bring in the mist but it's very confusing like the mist doesn't work for Tyson because he talks about how a bunch of kids bullied him and Called him a freak and tried to attack him because he had one eye. And he has to use sprayable mist to hide the fact that he's a cyclops. Yet when Grover goes in to order nectar, a nectar drink or whatever, um, there's a guy with like eight arms working. And Grover can see that he has eight arms because obviously, you know, he's not a human. So he can see through the mist. And then the other people that look over there only see that he has two arms. So the mist is kind of in this movie, but at the same time it's not. I, I really don't get what's going on with the mist in this movie. And then Luke is just even more of a generic villain in this movie. So there's really nothing nothing notable to say about him. Besides his one line de delivery that I liked. When um, Percy is running on top of his roof. And he gets just so insulted. Like, what are you doing? Don't walk on my roof. It's probably the only legitimate funny scene in this movie. Oh, and this movie also loves to like explain stuff really quickly. And then just move on. I guess to just make the movie as like. Short as possible. Or to just cram stuff in. Because there's a scene where. Um, Tyson the Cyclops is getting burned by fire. So Calirius obviously asked him. Hey why aren't you dead? And he goes I'm fireproof. Now I'm going to talk about something else now. And then there's a scene. Where Calirius. This stupid satyr. 
that has like three scenes in the movie. He wasn't really important. He clearly wasn't going to last long. He gets killed off screen and they're like, oh hey, where's he at? And she's like, oh yeah, he died. Let's move on now. But yeah, this movie just really was not good. Um, but yeah, Grover's barely in this movie, so I mean, I guess that was good. And Cola Elise finally showed up. She was in the first book, but she was not in the first movie. She is one of the people that bullies them along with two of her generic bully friends in the book. Yeah, in this movie, she has no friends that we see. And she honestly is more interesting than Annabeth in this movie. Obviously not more interesting in the books, but definitely way more interesting. She has a better character arc than Annabeth has in one movie than Annabeth had in two. So, I, I really don't get where this movie series thought it was going. Supposedly this movie was supposed to have a third movie, but it got canceled. So, where do they think they were going to go with the third movie? They already shoved the six movies big plot point in this. So if they were going to do all six movies, well then, how would that have worked? Who would have been the main villain? 